Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Sketches. Day 13, here's our prompt, which is stars and the layout. It is also my beginner's guide to mixed media. And I'm going to be playing with the Brutus Monroe Galaxy Glaze today. And also that star uh, stencil from close to my heart. I was trying to get you to be able to see it and well, you know. So I am just going to um, take my palette knife. Those are the two photos trying to get a feel for where I might want them. Uh, I didn't really follow the sketch at all today because I wanted to use all of this fun galaxy glaze and the stencil. So uh, I'm going to save that sketch for another time. So now the galaxy glaze is, oh my God, you guys, unbelievable. So yes, it's all going to look the same color when it goes on. It is all this gray color. But when it dries, oh my word, it's the color that's on the lid. So the first one I put on was a blue green. Then I'm coming in with just a blue. I will get some purple on there and then the red. Um, little disclosure though, apparently I mixed the red in with the purple and I didn't think about that. So it all kind of turned out purpley pinky. So there's not a lot of red. I'm gonna have to use the red by itself on a different layout. But I just want, I'm just getting a nice layer on. Now the Galaxy Glaze is similar to the um, consistency of the Chroma Glaze and the Velveteen Glaze. So as long as you don't like, you know, really try to work it onto the stencil, there is no bleed through. So we're gonna come in with just a little bit more of the purple. I wanted to fill that star over there. <laughs> And then we're gonna do the red. And all I'm doing is just wiping my brush off in between. I don't care if I'm mixing them a bit on the stencil. Then we're going to pull it off and have this beautiful uh, mixed media background. And once it dries, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you in the, I like tilt it in the light so you can see all the fun, different shimmery colors that it is. And it's not gray when it dries, so it's totally awesome. So I just pull up my washi tape and slowly pull it away. And there it is. <laughs> Look at that. It's like green and it's purple. And I went in close so you guys could see all the fun colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my word. Yes. So I also want to show you that I killed a six by six paper pad and I'm so excited about that. So I'm going to come in and just map these two photos of my son. This is him once again in that hurricane simulator, which... As you guys know, when my stepdaughter did it, her, you know, you could tell she was in a hurricane simulator because her hair was blowing all over the place. He really honestly just looks like, I'll say it again, like he's standing in <laughs> a glass tube. That's it. But, you know, you got to experience it, I guess. He liked to feel the wind. It was kind of hot, so I guess it was cooler when the wind was blowing on you at hurricane speeds. So I'm going to use my trimmer just to make sure that I get even um, straight lines Normally I just use my scissors, but I wasn't feeling very lazy. So now I'm gonna come in and figure out where I wanna put my photos. I don't wanna cover up a lot of the mixed media. Um, it does get, you know, covered a bit right there, but I'm okay with that. I have plenty to go around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get those stuck down. And pulling from my 12 by 12 sticker sheets, once again, trying to use those up. You guys, I am killing a ton of supplies. And I, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, happy. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one 12 inch border strip just to bring in some more of the red. I thought maybe if we had some red on the page, it would pull out some of that galaxy glaze with the red in it. And I'm going to get this cute little truck and I'm going to pop that up on some Brutus Monroe foam tape. Now, if you'd like to pick up any of that Galaxy Glaze, I will have a link to Brutus Monroe down below. That is my affiliate link if you would like to use it. And then I will also have a link to my Close to My Heart website where you can get that star stencil. It comes in a three pack. So that's an excellent deal on its own because you get three 12 by 12 stencils. And I think it's like $15. So yeah, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put Sun Kissed right here on the top. Just trying to pull in, like I said, some of these stickers and use them up because even though I'm killing a lot of things, I am not making use of the 12 by 12 sticker shades. So I pull in some random old circles and 
just to give another shape on the page. I've got that little bottle of soda because this was like, you know, when we were buying sodas and seeing what they had after the mini golf. Let's see what else I can pull out. I'm going to pull out these fun, um, I think they're supposed to be like the tops of beach umbrellas, but I'm going to cut them in half and make elements around the page. So I'm going to stick them in two different areas. I'm just trying to line it up. So I'm going to make a little cluster up here and the other one down at the bottom. And yeah, I just stick them on my arm so that I don't lose them. Um, even though you guys know I have lost them a time or two. Just cut them right in half and keep going, making the cute little elements, just bringing in some more color. And one more. So I do want to remind you that today is a hop. So listed down below, I will have everybody that's playing along with the Scrap Temper 30 Days of Sketches. Now, some people may not be playing today, but that's okay. We're still going to have their link. Some people are only doing the sketches. Some people are only doing the prompts. And as you can tell today, I only did the prompt, which was stars. And that's totally all fine as well. And as you know, it is also a beginner's guide to mixed media. So I was just showing another mixed media running through a stencil. I really like using the glazes and the paste through the stencil. So I also have a Facebook group. If you would like to play along, it'll be linked down below. Go ahead and join that group. I am now looking for some little word phrases. Also, if you hear any background noise, I'm sitting outside. Uh, it is too nice of a day to be inside. And I'm inside a lot today anyway because it's house cleaning day and catching up on my videos. So I'm going to pop those around and see what else I can get on there. I'm going to have to go with a title. So because I have been using and really working through some of this huge mega summer vacation kit that I have, um, I pulled in some other things, you guys. Yes, um, because we're still only on day three as of now. I have started scrapping day four, which is a lot, and it's the Universal Studios Day. So I pulled in um, the Paige Evans Wonder Collection, and I believe one other I'm not real sure but just to get some more um, pattern paper you know and some more embellishments because well I can use them up these right here are from some assemblage required uh, which is MK guns shop and this we're in an arcade and this says eat sleep game repeat which is all about my son so I did want to use those. If you've seen my latest haul video, which was up, I believe, last week, you'll see all the stuff I got from all the stores. And that's going to do it for today's layout. So don't forget to check everyone else out. Give them some love. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another layout. Bye.